Hello and welcome to the Animal and Plant Defenses Unit Internalization video. My name is Sean Tamarsk of KIPP, Massachusetts. And Jenna Brutzman of North Carolina also assisted in making our Master Teacher materials this year. Our big unit question is how do animals and plants survive? And the way we approach this question throughout the unit is looking at a specific animal, spruce the sea turtle. Students investigate how spruce the sea turtle gets the things that she needs, such as eating food, breathing air, avoiding predators, and how her offspring survive as well. And this unit is important because it helps students start to understand why animals and plants look the way that they do and behave the way that they do in their environments, like this anteater here. Why does it have such a long, crazy tongue? Uh, or this uh, insect here, why does it have what looks like a leaf for a wing? Essentially, students are gonna understand the idea of begin to understand the idea of structure and function and the connectedness between the two how the structure of this uh, leaf or it's a, th this wing or its appearance is an important function in helping this insect defend itself or hide from predators students are learning about the concept of adaptations and how the way an animal looks is connected to its environment and its habitat this will serve as the basis for learning about pun and squares and gen genetics and inheritance later on in middle school uh, and, and about dna as well and ultimately understand the connection between traits inheritance and natural selection which is what causes evolution and it's critically important our students understand this this connection as they will be presiding over the largest mass extinction in 65 million years it's our problem that we're passing on to future generations our students are going to need to understand the science behind it in order to solve issues like this so before we begin please make sure you did the following pre-work in the unit plan our first big question is what do animals and plants need to do to survive how does little sprucey here get the food, water, and air he needs to keep on sprucing and being his adorable little sea turtle self. Students match animal and plant cards on the left with the needs that those animals and plants have on the right and begin to have conversations about how animals and plants meet those needs. Uh, they actually chew carrots and observe and record the structures that they use in their mouths every day such as teeth, a tongue, throat, to meet their need for food. They read the book Tortoise Parts about the structure of each part of a tortoise and the function, what it does. And they do a card sort to help practice and reinforce those ideas. By the end of these lessons, students should know the fundamentals of Progress Build 1. Take a second to pause now and read it through. This all leads up to the Progress Build 1 focus task, explaining sea turtle survival. Go ahead and complete this task now and check back here. Note that you'll need to play two separate videos as part of the task. Take a second to pause now and complete the task. Great, so here's our answer as an exemplar for the task. Go ahead and check it on the scoring guide here at the back of the assessment and see how you did. Take a second to pause now and look at the scoring guide. Awesome, so in completing this, students should be able to demonstrate they understand that to survive, animals and plants must be able to get water, air, food, and not be eaten by animals that try to eat them for food. You like that picture I drew of you, Spruce? But this raises the next question, how does little Sprucey, the sea turtle, defend itself against the sharks swimming around it in the ocean? No, oh, no! <laughs> students begin to answer this question by first unpacking the idea that all animals need to eat something else, some other living thing, in order to survive. They read the book, Whose Lunch Is This?, which shows a picture of a plant and animal and asks the question, Whose Lunch Is This?, Who Eats Zebra For Lunch? Lions do. <laughs> they then think about the flip side of that, how do animals and plants defend themselves against predators by reading the book Spikes, Spines, and Shells, which is the reference book for the unit. Students learn about key defenses such as shells and armor, spikes, poison, and camouflage. They then model with clay and other materials each of these defenses that plants and animals use with make it by making a physical model, drawing it and labeling it. They investigate camouflage as well, ex exploring how animals might blend into to, to different habitats. By the end of these lessons, students should understand the fundamentals of Progress Build 2. Take a second to read over the statement by pausing now. This all leads up to the Progress Build 2 focus task, Sea Turtle Survival with Predators. No, oh, no! <laughs> Go ahead and pause now and complete the task. Pause now and read the scoring guide more closely. Oh, hi there, little Spruce 2.0. Well, that brings up our next question. How do animal and plant 
offspring defend themselves when they are young. Students notice that there's little spruce 2.0s swimming around near sharks. How do they survive? Students begin to answer this question by reading the book Parents and Offspring. They watch videos first of parents defending their offspring and then of some of the strategies offspring use to help themselves survive, such as these clownfish that hide in, in sea anemones that keep them safe from predators. Students complete a mini book to summarize their findings. By the end of these lessons, should, students should understand the fundamentals of Progress Build 3. Take a second to pause and read the statement carefully. All of this leads up to Progress Build 3 focus task, Sea Turtle Offspring Survival, where students apply what they've learned to analyze sea turtle offspring. Pause now and do the task. Go ahead and pause and look over the scoring guide more carefully. At the end of the unit, there's an optional engineering task where students apply what they know to construct a model for an aquarium that demonstrates how an animal's parts help it survive. Students read the book Frog Models about how two kids use models to test scientific questions, and they use a checklist to create their model. Great, on to the end of the unit assessment. The first question assesses progress build one. Pause and complete the question. You should have picked the anteater. Students should notice that its long snout and long, long tongue and digging claws allow it to reach into holes and get insects for food. None of the animal, other animals have body parts that would enable it to do that. This next question assesses progress build two. Pause and do the question. It is the white rabbit. Students need to think about how the color of the rabbit's fur will enable it to blend in and hide better in a white background environment, such as the snow. And finally, this question assesses progress build three. Pause and complete the question. And here are the correct answers. Parents and offspring are not exactly the same, although they're very similar. They're usually different sizes and may have different fur patterns, slightly different colors, and slightly different behaviors. And offspring do have ways to get what they need to survive, such as being born with a hard shell to protect from predators or claws for digging. And finally, C is agree because it's important students understand that although parents and offspring aren't exactly the same, they do, they do have the same body parts and the same basic features. All right, the video internalization guide is complete. Thank you very much for taking the time to be as prepared as possible for your students. And for final steps for KIPP teachers, uh, please go ahead and finish taking the entire end of the unit assessment to give yourself a good idea of what students will be uh, learning by the end of the unit. Uh, complete your unit internalization guide and submit the unit Google form to your coach on KIPPSTE.org. Go ahead and take care of these other steps before you begin the unit with students. Thanks again. And don't forget to keep it sprucey.